What if unbelievers hurt you and don't repent? Must you still forgive? The other ones that flowed from this were things dealing with this. If you do forgive, do you have to reconcile the relationship as it used to be? What if they're toxic? How do you set boundaries? How do you create parameters? So all these questions, I think, are actually very legitimate and good, but they flow from this first one. Do I have to forgive an unbeliever if they don't repent? I'll just share with you what Jesus did on the cross as the answer. And we'll mention this several times in the message, but here's the first mention of it. What did Jesus do from the cross to unbelievers who were crucifying him and unrepentant? He said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. So in case you're wondering the answer to the question, yes. We are called to forgive. That does not mean that every answer about reconciliation, parameters, boundaries, communication, contact is settled. It doesn't mean that. But it does mean we've, that the first step is to say, I'm releasing, which forgiveness, the word means to release, to let go of. I'm releasing the right to get even. This, this goal doesn't have to be settled in my book. That's God's job, not mine. He'll repay, not me. Are you with me? So on that front, yes, we are to forgive. I believe forgiveness is a one-way street. It's a choice of the will in which you probably daily at times give up the right to get even.